User journey maps are a great way to empathize with users. They can be helpful to uncover products' blind spots, or you can use them to prioritize product features. However, creating a user journey map is not always as simple as we'd like. In this video, we will cover six most valuable tips to make your user journey mapping a piece of cake. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. Today we are talking about user journey mapping. What is it? How is a user journey different from a user flow? How to make the most of a user journey mapping? Let's get into it. A user journey map is a visual representation of user interactions with your product. How many points of interaction did the user have with the product? What were their emotions during each touch point? What channels or information sources did the user choose? The idea is to divide overall user interaction into smaller, more specific steps. This will help better understand user habits, needs, and frustrations during each interaction touch point. Before we get to our top six tips, let's talk about the difference between a user journey and a user flow. While both terms relate to mapping users' interactions with the product, they use different approaches. A user flow is focused on describing users' interactions with the product, usually at one specific stage. A journey map, on the other hand, gives a bigger picture and also looks into the user's feelings and frustrations during each step. So what are the best tips to create an actionable user journey map? It is crucial to start mapping out a user journey with a user persona in mind. User personas are fictional representations of your target users. They usually include the person's demographics, values, goals, and interests. By crafting a detailed user persona, you can better forecast users' interactions with the product, their expectations, potential goals, and pain points. After you've identified the target users, focus on their main touch points during a user journey. When and how do users interact with the product? Usually, user interaction points are divided into journey phases. Touch points are various moments of user interaction with the product during each journey phase. By analyzing them, you better understand specific actions, feelings, and goals users have to each step of the journey. Touch points may also represent user flows that a user goes through during their user journey. For example, when booking a holiday trip, a touch point may be when a user books the tickets online. At the same time, this touch point may represent a user flow, as the user will have to go through a typical set of steps on the website to book the desired tickets. Alongside each touch point you identify, try to note down users' emotions. Are they frustrated, delighted, or confused? Such emotional mapping will help better identify pain points and opportunities to create a more meaningful and positive user experience during the user journey. Mm -hmm. Addressing users' emotional needs can also lead to increased user engagement, loyalty, and advocacy, ultimately contributing to the success of the product or service. Using storytelling is a great way to enhance user journey mapping. During storytelling, you set up a scenario to visualize the user's actions. Then you play it out and try to walk in your user's shoes. This gives you a better idea why and when users can be frustrated or unhappy, and what areas should be a priority for optimization. To bring your narrative to life, use vivid descriptions and potential user quotes. Our next tip is to conduct competitor analysis. Competitor analysis will provide insights into industry standards and user expectations. If you know how to find and analyze competitors' main touch points, you can identify gaps and opportunities in your own designs. Finally, to be actionable, a user journey map needs to be based on actual user data and feedback. Utilize user surveys, interviews, and user analytics tools to gather real-life insights for your map. Real data ensures that your journey map accurately reflects the interactions and user experience and gives you more details into what needs to be optimized. 
User journeys maps are super valuable tools if you want to improve your product's user experience. With our six best tips, you can now create an actionable, data-backed user journey map and elevate your product's performance. Don't forget to use the right tool for user and competitor research. If you don't have one yet, make sure to check out our video on how to choose a user research tool, which will appear in the right-hand corner right about now. And if you don't want to start from scratch, make sure to check out our user journey map template in the description. Like and subscribe to watch more videos on all things UX related. See you next time.